everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I am on a road trip today. Many years ago, I made my very first bonsai pot out of clay in the year 2000. And today I'm going to make my second, which is very exciting. At the last meeting of the KW Bonsai Society, Isabella was auctioning off some of her bonsai pots she made, and I bought two of them, so I'm on my way to pick them up, and she said, well, come on over and we can make a pot today. So I'm going to do that too, so that'll be really fun. I've made it to Isabella's place. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Nigel. How are you? Good. I gave her some cashews. There's, these are amazing. Thank you so much, Nigel. <laughs> They're growing well. Yeah. And this is her beautiful garden out front. Oh, look at those rocks. Wow, that's so cool. Wow, you've got a lot of nice nice plants in here. This is the sage bush that I trimmed like a bonsai and it grew so much <laughs> yeah. so you can't see the structure anymore. <laughs> that's cool. And that's the cotoneaster bush that I'm oh, going yeah. to uh, grow That's a tall bonsai. one, isn't it? It is tall. I, oh. I think I might have to chop it down in the future or maybe do an air layer on it. Yeah. No, I've so. never seen one that tall. Really? Yeah, I'm, usually they're kind of low, like ground cover. Yeah, that's right. That's how it came in, in the nursery. And it reminded me of those, you know, uh, savanna trees. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I picked it up right away, because I like that flat top. That's cool. I really, like that. Really cool. And this one my husband found for me. It's a little oh, juniper. Oh, a little juniper. <laughs> yeah. So we planted it here, hoping it will grow a little bit more. Cool. Yeah, this is the first time we've met, isn't it? We've yeah. talked to each other online. Mm -hmm. And that's been about it. So That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's really nice to meet you. And having someone with so much, you know, expertise in the <laughs> well, interest. It's, uh, expertise or a lot of years of failure. <laughs> <laughs> One that's of the where two. I am right now. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, um, Learn by my mistakes. <laughs> that's oh, here's your little bonsai area here. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a good backyard for the middle of the city, eh? It's exciting. It's nice. really excellent place. Wow, here. look at this. It's got we got a lot of space. It's a pie shape. So okay, yeah. It's more than it seems from the front. Yeah, no, I looked at you can see the fence way over there. Mm -hmm. wow. Those are the birch trees we planted about oh, yeah. seven years ago. They mm -hmm. took off. There's another one in the back. They grow fast, don't they? They do, yeah. <laughs> And here's the little bonsai area. Oh, nice. The cashew trees will go somewhere here. Yeah. This is a little eucalyptus that oh, um, wow. I got from my neighbor last year. Yeah. And it survived the winter. They're hard <laughs> to keep. Barely. I know. I had one and I got it through the first winter. Mm -hmm. Second winter didn't make it. it. Didn't they make need it. a lot of light. Yes. Warmth and, and light. Yeah. Warmly, yeah. Two things lacking in my house. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I think the sun was there, but there wasn't enough heat for it. So yeah. it didn't really like it. But uh, yeah, this is a oh. little pot I made for the jade plant. I'm just looking at these pots. Is that ever nice? And I love this one. Did you make that one too? Yeah, I did. I, wow. I made that one. Yeah. I'm a, I love this sort of double. Yeah, the beveled edge. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks fantastic. I, it's, I think it's called fluted. Okay. Um, for some reason, even though fluting means you carve it with the tool, but this actually yeah. I had to create a separate wall. Yeah, to make the, that to make that curved, curved corner. It was a lot of fun. And I like pots with the lip up top and the lip at the bottom. I think that looks strong. And yeah, I agree. So yeah, for yeah, your like part, that. I actually prepared a slab for the top oh, too because yeah. I thought we should do it that way. Yeah. And, uh, and look at this. Oh, there's a little bird bath. Yeah, for the wasps and bees, they love to come. They here. do. Yeah. Every time I water my trees, they all fly over and they know they see me and they know I'm yeah. going to water. Oh, that's so neat. That's they, I've noticed that they keep coming here. Yeah. So I put a plate out for them. Oh, wow. So you've got lots of succulents here. This is a rosemary. This is a rosemary and some... Uh, Look at this. Plantings. This almost looks like it's made of ceramic. It's like a glaze on it, isn't it? It's, it's very pretty. Dark. It's nice colors, the purples and greens. Wow. And you've got a bit of everything in there. Up for the, um, and a juniper up here, eh? Yes, so my teacher styled this juniper. It's in oh, white yeah. gold. And, uh, he showed oh. me, made a demonstration and showed me the technique. Very cool. This is the front here, so you can see the dead wood. And where is he located? He's in Waterloo, too. In Waterloo, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, and uh, 
Well, hopefully I'll meet him someday too. Yeah, hopefully. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. He's very talented in bonsai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I'm learning a lot from him. <laughs> this is actually uh, his tree, Mara's tree. Oh, it's yeah. a lilac in one of my pots. Oh, nice. Wow, that's a large pot. Is that ever nice too? Again, that has that fluted corners, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, and, um, wow. So you can use larger pots for training too, and they can look nice. Yeah, yeah, they don't have to be the ugly nursery pots, do they? Mm -hmm. Here's my juniper. Oh, it's nice. Look at that. Wow, that's wonderful. I have uh, some beautiful juniper. trunk on it, isn't it? It's just fantastic, and yeah. branches and. Yeah, don't worry. You got the rest of your life to work on it. Exactly. And the, um, this is a tuja. It's uh, I think it's called uh, a mop tuja. Okay. It's a gross kind of like this moppy round top. Wow. We're There's... gonna style it into a windswept eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Connor had like a whip cord, whip cord uh, cedar, I think, and it had like. Oh, nice. It's really strange looking. It's very strange. Yeah. Like it doesn't really have those compound pads. No, it it, it's like type. a very fine, isn't it? It's almost like a juniper. Mm -hmm. I know, and there's a species of this. I saw them at Canadian Tire that had little tiny micro leaves on them. Oh, nice. They were, I forget the species name, but oh. it was just like a, it was a thuja, but it was very specific, it like had a, very small leaves. Oh, that's neat. And there's so the many only types. Di the only disadvantage of those is that they grow so slowly yeah. that oh. you you almost see no change in your tree every year. Oh, I see. It's so slow. Mm-hmm. Wow. And there's a larch. It's the only larch I have. Oh, there's a larch, eh? It's a Jacobson um, dwarf. Okay. Larch. Wow. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I really like him. It's a, it's a nice species. Well, you get those beautiful fall colors, don't you? Yeah, that's just what I'm like, waiting for. Makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sit and watch every needle fall. Yeah. Like for hours. <laughs> I like them when they first start, they get this kind of greenish yellow color mm. and then they go to this straw color and then mm. almost like a reddish straw and then they fall and off. Then they fall off. That's really cool. Yeah, really That's a nice lilac, very small. It looks like it flowered too, didn't it? It did, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Samara just uh, planted it recently. Very cool. Gonna, I think he, uh, he trimmed it. You can see the trimmings and it's there to buck bud already. Oh yeah, so yeah. So it's gonna grow really nicely. Yeah, I have a French lilac that I planted this year. And I pruned it once and it's back budded like crazy now That's too. That's amazing. Yeah. Do they have uh, small leaves like these guys? No, it has the larger leaves. Mm -hmm. But I think it'll reduce over time. Yeah, it should. With but the those, those will reduce even smaller. Those are already so tiny. Yeah, we were we were surprised that lilacs can have small leaves like that. I used to have one of those, the small leaf lilac, but I had it in the ground in the front garden mm -hmm. for the winter, and it didn't make it through the winter. Oh. So I don't know if I didn't mulch it enough, or you had like a small leaf variety. Yeah. This is a Korean dwarf lilac. That's what I had, a Korean dwarf lilac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My friend has uh, a big bush, what what looks like this, and she calls it boomerang lilac. I'm not sure if it's the same species because hers is actually quite tall. It might hmm. be different. I wonder why it's called boomerang. Probably Maybe it because keeps coming they keep, they keep uh, blossoming okay, so throughout the keeps, summer. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. I wanted to show you my uh, yeah. autumn olive, which is uh, it's oh. like a yamandori from the oh. construction site. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it had zero leaves, was chopped down severely, but really? it's doing really well. And it's an olive, you say? It's an autumn olive. Autumn olive, wow. Kind of tough leathery leaves. And... Wow, that's it's cool. Silvery on the underside. Oh yeah, yeah. Very pretty. Wow, is that native to around here? They are apparently or? invasive. Invasive, okay. So they were brought in in 1800s for, for fruit, because okay. the fruit is very... Uh, um, apparently rich in vitamins, so okay. they were grown to harvest the fruit and then the species got out of control. Out of control and took off and yeah. like so many things, eh? Yeah, I found it in that construction zone, so I knew it's gonna be cut off and I, I just wanted to give it a new life as a bonsai tree. That's awesome. And look at this jade that you've cut back here. Is that a jade? Or? Yeah, it is a jade. A nice pot. Look at the feet on the pot. That's beautiful. <laughs> 
That's cutting it back, eh? It's coming back nicely though, isn't it? It is, yeah. It was a great cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By fall, it'll look awesome. Hopefully. I mean, <laughs> this one isn't coming out as strongly as this one. Okay, Because yeah. here I left some foliage. Yeah. And I think it's helping, so I might have helping to mist it. it a little bit more, maybe on the top. Yeah, it'll come, it'll come. It'll come. You got nice weather. You got like almost two months of good weather still, so. Yeah, that's right. I hope anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's fun watching them grow and now the cashew trees are here. And you, this is a bougainvillea, is it? This is a, just a no. hibiscus. Hibiscus, I, I meant. Yeah, the sorry. The nursery gave it to me. Yeah, hibiscus. So yeah. I took it. That's cool. It's and it's cool. about to flower. It had one flower uh, already. What color were they? It was very striking red. Red, okay. Very big flowers. Wow. Beautiful. Nice. Very nice. That is cool. And a Japanese maple back there. And That's Stooges. my son. My son's. <laughs> He's 18 years old. He's, he wants to do bonsai. So this is his oh, really? oh, cool. box within his maple. Yeah. yeah. And he might style in the future. Very nice. We're, we're taking it slow. You yeah. know, learning first before making cuts. And yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. And the more you do it, the more you learn. And you yeah. kind of get used to exactly. doing things. and. Mm -hmm. Half of it's training yourself and half is training the trees. Yes, the <laughs> strain to not cut <laughs> when you don't know what you're doing. It's hard. <laughs> well, yeah, something you can get into slowly, like you don't have to rush in and mm -hmm. you know, exactly. do everything at once. It's like the tree's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you keep it alive and healthy and that's, that's, that's the most 80% of bonsai. Yes. The styling is the other 20%. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. really, uh, it's really amazing. Cog. This is just the first year with with the trees here, yeah. and I'm enjoying it tremendously. It provides a lot of relaxation and yeah, I, I think so. To do. Yeah, and you, you can make the ceramic pots for it. And exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so once I pick the style, I can start thinking about the style. The yeah, perfect the pot, pot for each tree. For yeah. Which is cool. I, I enjoy really doing that. Cool. Yeah. When you find that pot that just goes with your tree beautifully, it just. Mm. It's everything like, ties I, it, yeah, it ties it, everything together and you go, wow, it becomes a work of art, I guess. Yeah. Instead of just a tree in a pot. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. I, I find it really exciting when you get them out of like a nursery pot and then you start thinking about the aesthetics of it all. And, yes. And then it, it transforms from, you know, growing a plant to mm -hmm. creating a work of art. That's right. And, it's pretty cool. It just it makes it a little bit harder to keep them alive at that point too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, your skill level needs to go it up needs too. Needs to go up too. Yeah. So that's why I'm I'm not rushing there to yeah. to get to that bonsai pot. With the jades, I'm okay because they don't really need much. Yeah. They're pretty they're happy good, yeah. plants. So long as you don't overwater them, they're pretty happy. Yeah. yeah growing a tree is fairly easy to do. Mm -hmm. Styling and maintaining the style and that it, it's yeah. difficult. It starts getting into technique and that. And that's where that's what I found out. Then actually, I want to show you uh, the boxwood that I over pruned. Okay, over pruned. Yeah, <laughs> I did that once too. Mine didn't recover. I got it down to two few leaves and it got weak and just died. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. Leaves, eh? I don't think that's over pruned. No. No. Okay. No, that'll that'll recover nicely. That's a nice boxwood, isn't it? It's so nice. Yeah. No, that'll recover fine. You've got lots of foliage at the end of each branch. Mm -hmm. So just wait till it gets all bushy again and then go at the pruning again. Do you think I should keep hey, I shade? recognize this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nightshade. Yeah. Look at all the berries on it. That looks nicey. I have um, David. He gave me a pot and it's it's a blue pot with he calls it the northern lights it has green in it wow. and so it's like a dark blue sky with mm. the fading these northern green lights in it or the northern light and i thought it would go nice with this because mm. orange is the opposite of blue mm -hmm. and red is the opposite of green so that's right i think it would really i think it would look out the berries so yeah nicely. yeah because a lot of times like a tree like that um when it's flowering, it's got white. No, they're it's purple the flowers. Purple, purple flowers. flowers. With a little yellow in the middle. They're so pretty. They just actually just finished. Yeah. There is uh, one maybe just coming up. Right, and they here. have the yellow in the middle. Yeah. And you could have a pot that matches the flowers. That's right. 
or you could have a pot that matches the foliage mm -hmm. and the trunk or you could have a pot that matches the fruit that's right or the berries oh, so, the berries. Yeah, there's, so, so many there's so many berries. things to think about it it's like when do you want to display the tree mm -hmm. in fall with the berries like you could probably defoliate it and still have the berries on it oh really so we just have the vine so, with the so berries just find, oh that would be really cool I mean, right now I'm trying to make it grow. It's I just dug it out in the springtime. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I didn't think it was a nightshade, even though the leaves look like nightshade. But I thought nightshade just dies every year. No, no, but it'll. Apparently they don't. I don't know how long they live. Like I, I started oh, yeah. one, and mine's in its, I think, second or third year. Oh, cool. So I'm hoping it keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And some native maples here this is a silver maple silver maple yeah so it grows actually in our neighbors it's a huge maple oh yeah and, uh, after watching your videos my Jola, with the forest i i fell in love with just the art of putting the moss oh together yeah yeah yeah, the yeah. <laughs> i found a bunch of maple seedlings in the spring and i didn't know what i was doing but i tied them up into the pot and yeah they are actually growing really nicely all oh, that's, summer that's good so it was a lot of fun to <laughs> I, do, I enjoy the forest mm -hmm. you really get into it and yes you can make all the rocks and the landscape and yeah it really makes you feel like you're traveling through that it does landscape. yeah mm -hmm. yeah it miniaturizes you down yes <laughs> and you kind of picture everything like you were there yeah, yeah i agree <laughs> it's, it's really fun so they were like this tall and i chopped them down chopped them down and they just keep growing so I I'm just chopped mine them. recently and I hope <laughs> I just chop. just completely and I hope no leaves on them I uh -huh. hope they come back strong what kind of maple they, they were silver maples silver too maples. yeah mm -hmm. now I see you have a little bud coming out down low here yes, yes so I think you'll be fine they'll be fine they've been chopped um middle of July so about two weeks ago okay and they've responded very well yeah I, I think as long as you have a good root base in them and they're mm -hmm. growing strong and vigorous still yeah, you can I pretty well do anything to them. Well, this one is a Very rescue nice. from the oh, yeah, deer, yeah. deer bonsai site, I call because deer just chopped it down every year. Yeah. So it stayed small. Well, that's cool. It's oh, yeah. very interesting looking, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the leaves are quite small on it, aren't they? Yeah, so those are all new leaves. And it was like this for the whole spring and summer, and I thought it's not going to survive. And then all of a sudden, it bounced back and it started to grow new leaves. So looks I like it could be a bit. black maple, maybe. Do you know? Or okay. I don't. Know. I was thinking Norway. No, maple, maybe Norway. If it has a white milky sap, it would be a Norway. Oh, I see the sap. That's how you can tell. It's a black maple. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. I've never heard Which of. Which I think is a native maple. That would be cool. There's 10 native maples in Canada. Mm -hmm. I think black maple is one, silver maple is another. And then the sugar. Sugar, sugar maple. maple. Uh, there's Manitoba maple. Um, Those are really tall. They grow so quick, yeah, the Manitoba yeah. ones. Yeah, they're, they're lousy for bonsai, but yeah. I keep trying anyway. Yeah, I have one in the raspberry <laughs> oh, bush. Oh, yeah. I think I might, I might dig it up and try it. Yeah. I chopped it. You, you trees everywhere. There's a. <laughs> this is the burning bush, is it? Yeah, that's the burning bush. They make great bonsai. I had a nice one, and then the boring insects came and they drilled holes in the trunk and killed the tree. Oh. But yeah, another nice one for fall colors. Yeah, that one was uh, one of the first trees I bought. Okay. Oh. Just it just the trunk, okay. sorry. Uh, spoke to me and yep. kind of you know all of this is new growth it was just here in the spring I see. and all of this just elongated wow. actually it was very long i already cut it off down yeah. a little bit but i'm probably gonna cut it down more in the spring now i find they only flush out once that's right in spring and then you prune them and then it sits there the rest of the summer and does nothing that's yeah exactly i, I have never gotten growth after i pruned it yeah it, they don't so i uh, i've read about that and i have decided to just let them grow but yeah i still wired those branches just so that it looked nice because yeah obvious. it kind of creates another tier of foliage there doesn't it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's cool very cool well, we could do it in the studio it's up to you yeah uh, if we do it here you can use this table i see okay and just put dude under the shade of the grapes look at that eh yeah the, the 
There's so many wow. grapes this year. Did you plant these? Or? We did, yeah. yeah. Wow. And they just covered. We, we built the pergola ourselves too. That's beautiful. You need something pretty strong for the grapes, don't they? Because they get so heavy. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Wow. And do you make wine with them or? We didn't actually, no. but uh, maybe if somebody wants them, they can. Are they good to eat them. by themselves or? They're very good. Okay. Very tasty. So they're not a bitter. The grape Concord, or kind of like Concord, Concord okay. grapes. I think that's what they're called. Wow, that's fantastic. My wife would love this. Yeah. <laughs> She's all about growing food plants. Oh, that's amazing. That's she, what I used to do too, and I still do. Yeah. But yeah, she's she's growing. She doesn't see the bonsai as just, it's not practical. I didn't see it either <laughs> until I watched your videos. Because <laughs> my teacher was trying to get me into it. And yeah. um, I was like, no, it's too much work. I, I can't do it. I don't have time. But then I saw the forest and I'm like, I love that forest. I want <laughs> it to make it. It makes it all forests. worthwhile, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's really different than the house plants, but that's what yeah. I used to do before in the winter. Yeah. So yeah. So those two trees are um I tried them in the pots and they weren't doing so great. So okay. I put them in the soil. So this is Ooh, yeah, yeah. I like the smoke trees. It's alive but barely. I just got one this summer. Canadian Tire had them on sale for I think it was ten dollars. Oh, nice! I got one. And what's this one? And this know? is the boxwood. Boxwood. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a small boxwood tree. Oh, that's good. Me and my husband actually worked on this tree together, and, cool. and we styled it. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it one tree or two it's trees? Two trees. Two trees. Yeah. Two trees. Two trunks growing together. Your husband and you. Yeah. <laughs> side by side. <laughs> it was quite an experience to, have to, to do it. You'll have to style one of the trees and he'll style the other. We made all the decisions together. Oh, did you? It <laughs> took us a whole day. Okay, so what do we cut? We cut here and then he has his opinions and you know, like, because we studied the laws of intercrossing branches and yeah, yeah. parallel branches and we studied the tree together. So it actually, it was a good activity because it taught us to communicate yeah, yeah. with one another. And we both had to agree before we made a cut. Yeah. And we alternated, like he would cut and then I would cut. And, um, yeah, we really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was a gift from my teacher, this tree. Oh, good. That's awesome. That's what got me into like, yeah, I can take care of one little tree with my husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it didn't feel so intimidating to do it by myself. Yeah. But now I have so many trees. <laughs> now you have a lot of trees. <laughs> yeah. That's good. And another birch here. Another birch. Yeah, that one is. We got it from a friend of ours. We got it from up north, actually. Well, you'll probably find in your bonsai pots, you're going to get a lot of little birch seedlings growing oh, really? in the spring. Yeah. That would be cool. Because once they start flowering, well, they are flowering now, aren't they? Yeah, you'll get all the little seeds all drop down in your bonsai pots. Nice. And every year you'll have these birch growing. Wow. So you'll have a lot of birch bonsai eventually, I oh, think. Oh, that would be neat. <laughs> <laughs> I really like birch trees. I'm Polish, so it's, yeah. it's part of, you know, um, the forest look. And uh, that's what I remember from childhood. Yeah. going to the birch forest with my father so yeah they they are beautiful well you'll have to create a bonsai birch forest because oh my gosh that would be lovely they're pretty cool <laughs> that would be so lovely oh look a tomato the first tomato oh there you go look at that nice this is a good spot for them isn't it it's they get really the good. heat of the house and yes yeah the heat returns so they really like it here yeah they look good mm -hmm. wow i love tomatoes fresh tomatoes yes I've on a grown, sandwich. I've grown these for, from seed every year for the last 10 years, I would say. So you keep using the seeds from yeah. the tomatoes? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good, yeah. Independent from big corporations. So these are the purple. Are those the Amish tomatoes? Um, or? They are actually called black semen. Black, okay. Yeah, which wow. is a strange name, but yeah. it's, I think we can pick this one up. You can try it. It's, yeah, I'll it's try it. It's one of the best tomatoes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Does that ever look good? Okay, I'm gonna try it. Try Do you it. want to cut it in half and you can try um, half? Or? I'm okay, but okay. oh, I see another one actually. Okay. Maybe that one will be more right. Mmm. Tastes good. 